So what are fossil fuels and what does fossil mean? Fossil, the word fossil, comes from the Latin, which means dug up. So these are all fuels that are dug up. So why are they dug up? What are they doing in the ground in the first place? I thought they were formed by green plants subjected to the sun. How and why are they dug out of the ground? Well, let's look at the history of plant growth. Here we have a, here we have a tree. It has been formed by the process of photosynthesis and it has carbohydrocarbons in its plant material. We could burn this plant, burn this tree, and the energy that had been put into it in the, in the chemical reaction of photosynthesis would be replaced. But in many cases, this plant dies. When it dies, it falls down on the ground, and then it is covered up by sediment. That is to say, the pieces of, of rock that are broken off from the great uh, granitic continents flow down through the force of water or wind and pile up on top of this organic material. The weight of that sedimentary material on top of the dead organic material piles up into very thick uh, layers. These layers can be miles and miles thick, formed over many millions of years. Under the tremendous pressure of this sedimentary rock containing these organic materials, the organic materials are pressed, forming very pure materials such as, as we saw before, methane or natural gas, and bending or folding or cracking uh, the layers of sedimentary rock, forming what we call traps. When we dig up the trapped liquid or gaseous hydrocarbons that have been uh, buried under these sediments, we are in essential, what we're doing is essentially dropping a pipe down into the rock, and because the organic materials, the liquid and gases, are under so much pressure, they rise through the pipe of their own accord and can be extracted and burned. That's why when you see the, a, a great gusher, such as you saw in the movie Giant, when the uh, uh, oil underground is tapped, it comes out in a tremendous burst out of the uh, 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 oil uh, pipe, and you can burn off the gas released in a continuous burning process called flaring the gas. Now, how did so much of this buried uh, oil and gas find its way into the Middle East? Well, this illustration will help explain. Hundreds of millions of years ago, the what is now the Middle East was covered by a prehistoric ocean known as the Tethys Ocean, pictured here. On either side of this ocean were great continents, what we would now call Asia to the north, or what we might call Africa to the south and west. From these continents, organic material and sedimentation were deposited in this shallow Tethys Ocean. This deposit was very heavy because at this period of time, at about 300 to 360 million years ago, the so-called Carboniferous period of geological history, the earth was covered by very dense vegetation. So you had an extraordinary amount of organic material going into the Tethys Ocean and sedimentary rock going in on top of it. Then along comes the tectonic forces we talked about before, the movement of these great tectonic plates, and the crushing of the floor of that ocean. That crushing between these powerful tectonic plates created the sedimentary rock that was folded and fragmented and now lies on either side 
of the Persian Gulf. This crushing and folding is further uh, evidenced by the line of earthquakes that occur along the northern ridge of this region. And today, at the bottom of the Persian Gulf, lie deposits of these ancient organic materials formed into oil and gas and trapped in the sub-oceanic uh, rocks that now form the base of the Persian Gulf. It is the ability to pipe into, tap, and extract this oil and gas that has produced the enormous wealth of countries on either side of this Gulf.